Now let's talk about the anatomical relations of the esophagus. So the anatomical relation of the esophagus give rise to four physiological constrictions in its lumen. So that's why there's an area where food uh, foreign objects are most likely to become stuck. They can be remembered using A, B, C, D. So these are the four anatomical relations which is very important to understand and you can remember them by the trick which is mnemonic which is called A, B, C, D. And uh, in these areas, you know, food uh, mostly are uh, kind of stuck. So that's why it's very much important to remember them by the technique A, B, C, D, which is, uh, A means arc of aorta, like taking a turn right over there. Uh, let me see if I can show you that one. Let me see if I can get the heart right. All right, all right, all right. We get the arc of aorta. You can see the arc of aorta right over there, taking a turn. Let me remove the skeletal muscle. Right, we remove the skeletal muscle. Now you can see in this diagram that arc of aorta taking a turn right over here and making it to difficult for the um, making it difficult you know maybe there's a possibility of the foot to stick up. The second one is your bronchus, your left main stem. And if you're gonna add up your respiratory in it, uh, we know that how the bronchus is gonna contribute to it. You can see that one in the posterior, uh, posterior to your trachea, that bronchus may cause a problem. The third one is your curricard cartilage right over here in, in between them. And the third one is your diaphragm, which is not shown here. If I add up the connective tissue, there will be much mess. So that's why I remember the fourth one is your diaphragm hiatus. So by the formula, by the trick, which is A, B, C, D, you have to remember that the, the first one is your arc of aorta, B is bronchus, C is curricard cartilage, and D is diaphragm. And uh, this is it. Uh, now let's talk about uh, uh, the structure, you know, anatomical re relations of your esophagus. All right, if we're talking about the esophagus, which is uh, like we have divided the esophagus into two parts that's the uh, abdominal part and the thoracic part or the cervical part. First, let's talk about the cervical and thoracic part and what structures are present anterior to your esophagus. So the structure that are present anterior to your stuff, uh, uh, anterior to esophagus are the first one would be in the thoracic or cervical range. Remember this one. The first one, let me add up the muscle, um, uh, skeletal muscle, so we get it. The first one structure that is anterior is your trachea. You can see right over there. This is your trachea. The second one is your left recurrent laryngeal nerve, which is not shown here. Let me. For the nerves, uh, I have to put in them in detail. But just remember the anterior to it. Also, another structure which is left recurrent laryngeal nerve is present. And the third one is your pericardium, which is uh, covering up your heart. So that's it. Okay, you see it closely right over there. You can see the pericardium. Pericardium is also anterior to your cervical and thoracic, uh, thoracic uh, region of your esophagus. And talking about the posterior part. We know that we have the uh, thoracic vertebra right right over there. Let me put it backward. You can see that posterior, if you can go through posterior to esophagus, right? This is our esophagus. You see, let me remove the arterial supply. This is your esophagus. Posterior, we've got the thoracic vertebral bodies. We've got the thoracic duct. We've got the azygous vein. And we have got the descending aorta, if we see it that way. Again, let me add up the... Uh, arterial supply and remove the skeletal muscle we'll be saying the okay you see your you can see the descending aorta taking a turn and going posterior to your uh, what I call it the uh, esophagus so this is playing a posterior part now let's talk about the right and left side of your esophagus so on the right side if you see it like this so this is it on the right side we have the pleura and uh, terminal part of your azygous vein and on the left side we have got the subclavian artery aortic arc you can see the aortic arc this is left side this is the aortic arc going down there and the thoracic duct is also there and again the pleura is also present right over there so pleura is on both sides because the lungs uh, are covered by the pleura so they are present on the both side if you're talking about the abdomen, abdominal, uh, uh, abdominal esophageal part, which is very easy to remember, the abdominal esophageal part uh, anteriorly is covered. Uh, anteriorly, the structures that are present to it are your left vagus nerve and the posterior surface of your heart. 
Uh, let me, I can't show it here, but if you go, if you see that the posterior surface of heart is anterior to your abdominal esophagus. And if you're talking about the posterior, uh, posterior of your esophagus, we'll be knowing in the abdominal region, we have got the right vagus nerve. I have to add up the vagus nerve in order to show that. And the left curse of your, crest of your diaphragm. So this was about the anatomical relations of your esophagus.